Confidential for Chevrolet salespersons only. Chevy Bonanza 1978. Special available option packages for fleet side pickups. Chevy Van, El Camino, and now Chevy Blazer. Chevrolet. Somebody asked me if I had a brochure for a Blazer Gaucho, maybe? Two wheel drive. Junk. Boulevard Blazer. Anyhow, so I was looking through these brochures and I found some Chevrolet extended service prices. Change oil, oil filter, lubricate chassis, check all fluid label, <laughs> levels, labor $3, labor $2, labor $5, labor, what's 15 bucks? Check thermo controlled air cleaner, $15. Monza foreign price comparison. Monza Town Coupe. Monza Hatchback, Monza Hatchback Sport, Celica Liftback GT, Honda Accord, Datsun 200SX, VW Scirocco. Advantage, disadvantage, price, oh boy. So I looked through the uh, brochures I've got here from 1978, and wouldn't you know it, Chevette and Monza, the quality value story. Chevette, <laughs> four-door hatchback versus rabbit. He's looking back now, 30 years later, we know what's happened. Chevette versus Rabbit. Well, they both had the spring front spring towers pop through and pop the hood open. Oh, people, space, serviceability, and reliability factors, automatic transmission, EPA mileage. Let's see, the Chevette gets 25, Rabbit got 22, combined 28, Rabbit got 26, EPA mileage with 5 speed, serviceability and reliability factors, diagnostic Chevette. Versus Datsun B210. Datsun? What's Datsun? I thought it was Nissan. Chevette has protective, non-corrosive inner front fender liners to help protect the outer fenders from rust and corrosion. B210 has only partial inner fender liners. They don't extend over the entire fender area. For the most part, you are looking at exposed metal here. Do you understand? Exposed. Wow, look at that checkerboard interior. Cool. Chevette, hatchback design, folding rear seat, and closed trunk design. Chevette versus Toyota Corolla two-door sedan. Geez, you can only get that luggage into the Toyota Corolla three bags. And the Chevette, you can get a whole steamer trunk and still close the hatchback. On the Toyota, you got to stick it on the roof and tie it down with some string. Corolla Deluxe. Chevette has an overhead cam engine. Actually, it was a good engine. It has a high output engine. Corolla has a 1.6 pushrod with mechanical adjustment. And the Chevette got 34 miles per gallon, and the Toyota got 32. Wow, the Chevette did better. Can't believe it. Chevette versus Honda Civic, CVCC. Well, the Honda really nails them in the fuel miles department. Because interior ruminous to turn signal, trailer towing capacity when properly equipped, 1,000 pounds. Honda, on the other hand, clearly states in their owner's manuals that, quote, towing a trailer with a Honda Civic is not recommended. Chevette versus Pinto. Yeah, right. <laughs> blind leading the blind. Manual transmission. Chevette got 30, 34. Pinto got 25 and 29. Actual mileage will vary. Chevette versus Ford Fiesta. Three-door sedan. No front inner fender liners. Blah, 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 blah. Fiesta AM radio is extra cost, dealer installed option, flow through ventilation. Wow, the Chevette, such a cool vehicle. Readjust the package tray. And the Chevette, such a piece of junk. Boxes fit in. Chevette hatchback. I had one with a diesel. Had an Isuzu. Four cylinder diesel. Used to start the coldest days without even being plugged in. Monza Coupe versus Datsun 200SX. Their car, the Datsun 200SX, is Datsun's image car. It uses a standard Datsun 119 cubic inch four-cylinder engine B210 chassis plus a long list of standard luxury interior appointments. Ba -ba 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 -ba, sporty car image, high cost of the 280Z. As you can see, the 200SX is loaded with standard equipment, but the buyer is paying for it. Even if we put all these items on the Monza, we still have a $338 price advantage. Reclining seats and delay wipers... You get a wide choice of engines with the Monza. You get a 2.5 four-cylinder, the old Iron Duke, a 3.2 liter V6. What's the 3.2? Hmm, must be the three, mini version of the 3.8. Or you get a 305 Chevrolet V8, the old 305. Yep, could have got it from the factory in a Monza V8. Got it right here. 
Monza State versus Toyota Corolla Wagon. Ha, ha, ha. As you know, Toyota is the number one nameplate among imports in America. Monza interior. Blah, blah, blah. Suppose our customer really wants his automatic transmission, an AM radio, rear defogger, white sidewall tires, and air Now, what if you add all these up? What's going to cost them to buy these cars? Oh, boy. Monza 2 plus 2 hatchback coupe versus Honda Accord. CBCC. No need to rec we need to recognize that Accord is a very tough contender. Nonetheless, we're going to provide you with some solid selling facts and information you can use in selling the Monza 2 plus 2 Sport hatchback versus Accord. So let's see now. We've got a Monza here, which is a glorified Vega. Should have been a rotary, maybe. And we got a Honda CVCC Accord. Now, just let me ask you, which car stands out 30 years later as the biggest selling car after the Toyota Camry, probably? There are, of course, a number of standard features on the Accord that are not available for Monza. Trip odometer, rear window wiper and washer, and maintenance reminder system with lights open, the oil should be changed, or tires rotated, electronic warning system with signal on the door, da, da, da. 